Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today's video is about projects that get too complex. So quickly, what I want to share with you is when you're building something amazing, make sure you duplicate it so that you can always go back in case something goes wrong. I did a shout out of this project earlier. As you can see, it is unbelievably intense and eventually stopped loading. Now I have done some techniques right now to make it so that it does load again. I want to show you those. Right here is a good clue. See how those are all red? That is stressing Tinkercad as it loads. Those are just parts that are complex and it's using more resources than you really want it to. I'm going to shut off these notes for Leo and let me show you what I did. So the process was really time consuming, but it worked. So what I did is I clicked on each item. See how this is a shape that you can ungroup it? So I took everything that could be redone and I turned it into a part. So this used to be a cannon that you could still disassemble, but I made it into a cannon using the My Creations button or the Your Creation button. You can see here all of the ones I added. You can see I did these again and again. That's because of how long it takes for them to load. So let me show you the process quick. Click on a shape, see how you could ungroup it. I'm gonna create a shape. I'm not sure what that piece is, but I'm gonna call it armor. Now this loaded pretty fast. The more complex they are, the more you have to wait for that to happen. But you can see right there that is actually quite complex. So now when I hit save shape, I wait a moment for it to appear up here. Notice it does take a second for that image, but you can see here it was successfully created. And then I drag it out. Now, if it doesn't appear, that means you just have to keep waiting. So be patient. Bingo, that showed up after 60 seconds, which is pretty fast. Seriously, when I did this for these tracks, see how they're a shape? That took about 30 minutes, so you do have to be patient. Now that it's appeared, I can bring it in, and then I'm going to shift click on the original. I'm going to choose L for a line, and I want to put it right in the middle, right at the top, and right in the middle. So now I click on it and see how this one says shape, and I can still ungroup it. That is the one that was more complex. Now when I delete that one, bingo, I've got my smaller armor and your project is more likely to load. Friends, I did that for all of these pieces and now this amazing project that took Leo a ton of time to build is actually ready to be played with and modified and made even more epic. Now a few quick things to remember. I made a copy, so if I wanna go back to my editable one, I've still got all those parts. It is nice to have those available, but when you're trying to make things more and more complex, Creating shapes like this is a fantastic way to push your Tinkercad designs to amazing levels. Friends, I do want to remind you there will be a shout out soon about the epic Land Cruiser when it's finally finished. And of course, friends, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.